what's going on, everybody? My name, my name is Chris, and what's going on? This is Golden Sun. Welcome back. Last time we tried to get this ship to set sail, we failed miserably. There's a million and one problems between the passengers wanting to freaking go, between the, there's monsters and everyone's afraid, and no one knows where to set sail. There's a ship missing. There's a lot of crap going on. Let's talk to this guy because he's in the way. Oh well, you want to see the captain too? Nah. Well then you don't have business here. Off with you. Off with your head. Oh shit, what is this dangerous? It's like sitting out to die. Yeah, it does sound kind of unfortunate. You trying to launch the ship? We can't sail, set sail in this dangerous sea. What was that? What? We don't care about that. We paid our money and now you have to launch the ship. But the captain just said to set sail a second ago. <laughs> the heart. So we're taking off? Yes, prepare preparations are being made right now. Well, maybe we're a bit rash running up here like that. Please, launch a ship when you're ready. Mm. Dangerous sea, that's what you said, isn't it? It's dangerous out there. Is that why you wouldn't launch a ship? Yeah, I did. The, the sea is dangerous now, I don't monsters. Monsters, you say? Lately, you've been sighting some creatures near. Never seen before in Kerrigal. <laughs> Dangerous ones? Actually, some even came aboard the ship and attacked the crew. That is dangerous! You suspect that our replacement ship might have been attacked? Such dangerous creatures around. You might need warriors! It certainly is dangerous, but the ship is okay. After all, we. If they're monsters, I'll be glad to help out. Oh, really? Hey, Arianus, I thought... We have to make it to Colossal. If we're late, we can't enter. That's true, but... Hey, maybe give us a hand too, Sean. <coughs> really? Are you really gonna help out? A man of my word. If I said I'll help, I'll help. If you guys helped me to keep the dock safe, the ship should be okay. So, we can set off now. No. Now we need someone to protect the oarsmen. Protect the oarsmen, huh? We can need some warriors. <clears throat> you have an idea? I saw some warriors among the passengers below deck. Do you think they'd help us out? If they're from Angara, they will. <laughs> That's kind of racist, isn't it? <laughs> Only if they're from Angara. If they're from any other continent, then they suck. Hmm. If they get help out, we'd be unbeatable. And of course, we still have my lucky anchor. It's gone! It's vanished! What? The captain's beloved anchor? The anchor? Our good luck charm? Oh, that? What's the big deal? So, what if that old trinket's gone? What do you mean, oh, that? The anchor's been keeping my ship safe for years! Which is decorative, right? Can we find some more ears? We won't make it without that anchor. We're not leaving. But you just said we were leaving! That was when I thought we saw the anchor! All the fuss over a little trinket! A little trinket? Weren't you listening to what he said? It's not just decoration, it's a good luck charm. Ship doesn't leave until we find it. It's a problem. We've got some warriors to help us. Maybe we shouldn't have taken it. <gasps> hey, hey, you! What are you doing here? You're in the cabin. The ship goes nowhere. We took it. Hey, we took it. Hey, where is it? I waited too long. I'll get out. I'll get in trouble if I don't come clean. To confess that I hid it on top of the mask. Wow. <laughs> Straight up tells me pretty much. I mean, I read his mind so. I had no idea he was so superstitious, I thought he was joking. Can't believe him, refusing to leave because of one charm. He came to ask the captain to set sail, right? If we had worked together, we'd be out at sea right now. But it's too late now because of that charm, we're not going anywhere. The ship doesn't leave soon, we might miss Colosso. What? What? I'm very clear clearly facing Aranus. That thing couldn't have gotten lost on its own, did somebody hide it? Right when we found some warriors to protect us, their ship, I thought it said Garrett at first. Get it? This is ridiculous. Ship can sell because of a good luck charm. <laughs> you think this is ridiculous, that's funny. With all the bad luck losing my lucky charm, ship can't leave until we find it. 
Should we leave Doc until we find the anchor chart? Maybe we should forget about setting off. Problem after problem, man. Oh, looks like there's some shaking people down here. They can't be planning a mutiny. They're just about to launch ship. They're awful. Somebody stop them. Oh, I think this is referring to the guys that were running in there. Using force launch ship? That's going too far. Yeah, no kidding, man. That's pretty spoopy. So, he sat on top of the mast. This beautiful, beautiful mast. Hey! I got the anchor charm. That was easy. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of various look. Very. Also, really weird. You can't run behind the mast. I don't know. I guess they can't really figure out a way to have it visually look when you run behind it. Oh well. Nope. Did not want to go down there. Dom, you stairs getting in the way. Well, that was easy. I mean, I wish they weren't. I wish they gave like a better hint than that. Better hint as in a little bit more obscure because they pretty much they said exactly where it is. Oh, the luck losing my lucky charm. Just leave it till we find it. Well, guess what, buddy? Trigger it in the shape of an anchor. So is this, like, it looks like an actual anchor size, doesn't it? Uh, maybe not. It looks a little small, is it? Hey, it's my lucky anchor! <clears throat> well, look at that. Did you find a little charm for us? Yes. It's on top of the mast. Why that of all places? I I don't know what to say. Thank you. Now we can set sail. Boy, that's a relief. Now we can set sail. Right, Captain? Mm, not just yet. Oh yeah, it's what's the problem this time? Good lord, the Kerrigal Sea is thick with monsters. But you don't... Well, it's like Sean said, the best thing we could do is protect the deck. We need someone to protect the oarsmen. Sean, you luckily have someone in mind. Yeah. Something to help who? Those warriors, that's who. Hello, it's me! You may look young, but each of them is forced to be reckoned with. How does he know that? When you put it that way, that's sure, why not? Let's put these children's lives at date risk. I can't argue with that. I'm sure you can, how about it? Do you want to join forces and help out with the ship? Yes! So you'll help us. That means we can finally set sail. Oh good, that means our ship is taken off! There's one thing left to do. Oh no, now what? I need some volunteers to help with the rowing, just in case. <clears throat> what? Are you going to ask the passengers to help roll the ship? The ship won't move without oarsmen, so... Don't worry, we'll do that too. What? Wait a minute, you're supposed to protect the ship! We need to ask the other passengers. Those passengers are part of your tour, so why don't you go and ask them? This is crazy. We need to help out. We need you to help out, even with the crazy stuff. Well then, uh, let's all go to our stations and wait for launch. Come to the event. I don't know your name. You want to tell me it? Ah, Isaac. Well then, Isaac, I'll be looking forward to working with you. Well then, Isaac. Well, everyone, let's get to this. Get the ship to sea! Yay! So much progress. We don't know what might what might happen before we arrive. We're ready for anything? As long as we have the anchor charm, we have nothing to fear. It's, it's funny how like much faith he has in that little charm. It's okay. There we go. All the problems have been solved. Now that we have to protect the ship, we ought to be leaving soon. But, I think it might be tough for the other passengers to row. Yeah, that sucks. I'll get you to ro even rowing the ship. It means we'll finally leave the dock. Uh-huh. Since rowing's a man job. Leave me out of it. <laughs> if we just help... If we just promise to help row, the ship will set sail, right? It's pretty easy to make a promise. Ultimately, they're just being threatened to helping, right? Now what happens? I'll force the passengers to work. Hmm. That sea job Kaja is a little scary, so everyone agreed to help row. But fighting up here suits me better than rowing down below. Dang it. Us? How about the run? Get serious! There's no way to ever do this. I like how like all these people are like, yeah, okay, I'll help bro, and then they're like, I'm not gonna do that. Screw that. We'll have to make them promise to help row before we can sail. Hopefully they won't come to that though. Probably won't make a difference. If I make them promise to row, I just hope we won't refund them the money at the end of the trip. Yeah. Oh, I'm trapped. Help! Help! I'm being held hostage! Help! I'm Lord Hammond 2.0! And here's him telling these guys, I never thought I'd be this age and end up having to roll a boat. Yeah, no kidding, this guy's gonna fall over and die. Well, shoot, maybe we should just have stayed in clay. These proud warriors are not going to like being told to row. What do you think? You guys want to trade jobs? Nope. Not at all. But you'd say that fine, or it's fine with me. Sometimes our oarsmen will need the help. If that happens, we'll help out as warriors. All our money on tickets, now we have to roll the ship. Madness! This is Sparta, are you going to row? Oops, I didn't tell you. Hmm, so you're gonna row even though you're a fighter, huh? Should be easier to predict a ship than it would be to row. I'll agree to help on your own accord. That's why I like 
I like your total cooperation when it comes to- I thought I said compensation, I was confused. Okay. In order to progress the plot, you want to run downstairs. I'm not doing that. There are actually some things we could do now. So we can talk to this guy, you want to go ashore? Please pass through. So, these guys have been waiting so long to leave. We're just gonna get off the boat and not start the pro process of growing the ship. Actually, I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm saving right now. Actually, uh, there's actually one of our enemy we haven't seen in this area yet. So hopefully we'll run into it. If we head north, though, we'll see something special. So I talked about a bridge. Let's get into one battle here. There's one more enemy we have not seen yet. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna cut till I find him. Just, just so I could. Uh, I'm sure. Up. Or does he show? Or does he show up in all- Now, let's 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 have him show up here. I will BRB as I try to find this enemy. One second, you guys. There we go. This is the death cap. This is obviously an upgraded version of um, the other mushrooms we've seen before. Death cap! Is he already dead? No, he's dead. Oh, he's stunned though. Well, oh, he's definitely dead now. Death caps at level 15, they have 117 hit points. They uh, dropped 56 gold, 48 experience points. Uh, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping a sleep bomb, and they have the ability to Sleep Star, which uh, has the ability to put a couple items to sleep. Um, when you cross this bridge, you might notice something that this area looks kind of familiar. You probably already know where you are, but look at that, there's another town. <gasps> oh my gosh! We're in vaults! Yay! <laughs> I love it. Hugh, you're the warriors who captured the thieves a while back, aren't you? You've returned the vaults! We sure have. I can't believe they're here! What great timing! Great! <clears throat> Wait. This table looks all the empty. Oh, I can't eat my precious stone. That should have never happened, but true. I thought I knew what was going to happen. I've sold it. I thought I saw the cat get on the table and pull the gemstone, and then I brought the treasure was gone. Husband says the cat ate treasure, but I don't believe him. So, she says she doesn't believe him. But that gemstone was freaking huge, man. How would a cat eat it? I'm very confused about that. Also, the only thing... Well, I'm not going to spoil the other possibility quite yet, since we don't know about it. But probably heard, but the bridge of Kaylee has been fixed. So yeah, that's why we were able to get back here. Those guys from Kaylee came to fix the bridge. They looked like they were worried about something. Hmm. If the volcano stays calm, the Southern Bridge stays fixed, we won't have any worries at all. Uh, there you see, the roof repairs off his- I'd hope so by now, man, jeez. <gasps> hey, it's that warrior guy! Yeah, and Ivan too. I'm so glad he came back to vault, yay! Everyone's so happy. Watching you guys makes me feel brave. I hope you'll tell me about your travel sometime. I was vault elders are brave like you. Grumps always get scared whenever anything happens. I get so tired of that. Yeah. Uh, the thieves escaped, what? But I think that's alright, it's all part of the divine plan. <coughs> I didn't mean to like laugh at that, that was me coughing. <laughs> Keep wondering what? Was that a statue stolen because my contact was wrong? Oh, it's you. I was just talking about you with the mayor. You're all really strong, so I, let, so I say let those thieves attack. They'll be able to get past you. Jeez, man. What if they like, what if we're sleeping and they slit our throats? What oh, stupid thieves escape? We don't know where they are. If they all hated these kids for capturing them. I wonder if they'd. Been rumors of thieves from Lumpa running wild, but we haven't been paying the mind much. I wonder why those guys have been so quiet recently. Because they have a money mill being habits. Once the Lumpa took over, Lumpa's outlaws became no better than thieves. There's gotta be a reason those guys are being so quiet. Yep, there sure is. Uh, is there anyone else here? Uh, oh man, from a male's house, laying in front of a fence. Alright, okay, yeah, I've talked to everyone. I've cared to outside, anyways. Prisoners said they wanted to break out of jail before Colosso began. Colosso, isn't that big festival in Toby? Ah, so they're going to Colosso. What do you suppose the thieves would be interested in Colosso? Hmm. The Wumpa's henchmen never attacked us, did they? Maybe those thieves went from Wumpa after all. That has been paying attention since the Wumpa's men never attacked us. Ah, well, I mean, don't get too comfortable, man. So not a whole lot has- I mean, all the pretty much all the villages in here, the dialogue has changed. Hmm, nothing to do, nothing to do. I hate this. It's all because our- uh, no one's coming to the village with the volcano at all. I don't know, come to stay the night here. I could care. I could be a thief for all I care. Yeah, of course. This is the same guy that didn't care if thieves were staying as in as long as he made money. Well, let's never bones for in here. You want some? Yes. Really? Take as many as you want. <laughs> so. 
You don't want to have to. You could actually continue collecting these and having one of them. Bone from, a bone from the girl at the end. You only want one of them. Trust me. <laughs> I don't think you could sell. Actually, you can. I don't blame you. Only a dog would be happy eating bones. Nothing but bones. Ah, dog, eh? Maybe a hand. Maybe. Maybe. We got a lot of travels in winter. Spring seems like such a long way off, you know? Ooh, it sure is. Um, and ladies. Oh. Dang, I think she actually said something to remind me of her. We wrote down to talk to the ladies. If you've been in the business for all, you start to understand. After hard times, good times will come again. Yeah, that's why. I, I really like that quote. Um, I agree. I, sometimes, like, life isn't always great. Life isn't always bad. Sometimes things, horrible things happen. But eventually, good things will happen again. Paul should go to statue return to us. It's so shiny you won't even recognize it! Dude, it looks the exact same. <laughs> I may be wrong, but lately there have been a lot of earthquakes at Mount Aloof. Hmm, hope the earthquakes are a sign of some wars coming. Oh, they probably are. Um, ah, uh, we'll go to Mayor's house left. So, the thieves escaped? Oh, snap. They <gasps> oh my god, one of them got really buff! No! I need to learn to control my temper. I hate somebody, so they put me in here. What a deal was stupid, wasn't it? Yeah. Those turns look really scary, by the way. Don't they? They're, they're, like, how much freaking gasoline is on them? <laughs> you know, they need all that gasoline for the cars. These stores actually aren't updated, so I mean, there's no point in like, going to the menus. See, the volcano of Mount Aleph has torn the continent in two? The eruption of Mount Aleph was incredible, being able to split the continent. It's a good thing that giant crevices open up, though, otherwise a lava flow would spill directly on those. Thank you, wise one! There's a river of fire on the other side of Mount Aleph. Something big is happening. Just imagine how terrible it would be if that happened over here. Yeah. If it were for the wise one, we'd all be dead. Phew. Uh, we haven't been getting any customers lately. Maybe I'll call, close early today. I'll keep it when we don't have any customers. Yeah, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Your time for just call someone tell me, isn't it? I'd like to go once more before I die. That's so sad, like, thinking about, like, oh, I'd like to do this once before I die. Like when you're getting close to the end of your life. Whenever my wife used to go to Told Me Across, she would always check the gladiators. That's why I won't take her with me if I go again. <laughs> the warriors, I saw fighting close was so powerful, I couldn't take my eyes off them. Hmm. Lately, my husband's been going on and on about Klaus. I wonder if I might take me this year. She wants to see all those Ripley muscles. Ripley's, believe it or not. So, not only to talk to everyone here, there is actually something going on that we can now do now that we've come around. <clears throat> The mayor's family urn is on display now. You ought to go see it. I don't know where that is, though, actually. It'll be securing it soon in a safe place since so hopefully. Is that the saint, though? Like, is that the urn? But I thought that was a separate thing. I don't know. It's not up here, is it? No. Those thieves! Go out the trouble catch them. We let them get away. Just embarrassing what those thieves get away. I hear that the big festival is about to start in the faraway town. Uh, I'm, I'd sure like to go see what kind of festival it is sometime. Dang it. I love festivals, that my castle is just incredible. Oh, Isaac, you've come back to Vault! And since you left, all sorts of crazy things have been happening. Those thieves you caught have escaped from jail. We heard that they might come and you. Have you run into them? I have not. <clears throat> well, that's good, but be careful. There's no telling what they might do. Wow, good job, man. You did it. This guy's really want to avenge you, so take good care of yourself. Great, so I gotta watch our backs at all times. As long as we stay alert, those thieves won't cause us any trouble. I mean, they're probably super easy pushover dudes now, but still. I ain't wanna touch them. If you run over here. Ah, Popper Dodge. Ruff, ruff. And then immediately opens their many times, we can do something. Let's mind read them. Or bring me some bones, I'll tell you a secret, huh? Okay. Here's your bone. Garrett uses bone. His secret is he can play jump rope. Good job, buddy. Okay, no such reveal. Wing, 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 wing. A passage leading underground nearby. You might have just find some treasure inside. So we actually don't need to do that. If you just reuse a reveal to begin with, this would still appear. But it's still kind of nice to give the dog a baby. Oh, did you guys check out the jail? Yes. Oh, those thugs break out of jail. Those bars are really strong. Yeah. I should look this up. The thieves broke out of jail and got away after you guys went all the trouble of capturing them. I talked to all these guys and I like looked into it a bit more like on the interwebs and like the wiki Wikipedia for this game and all everything. It's not like it's easy to grab the key to that jail. They're able to get the key out so they're not all secret of the lock. They must have been great. That must have been great. <laughs> so he's kinda like, he's like, yeah, 
drama. Um, no one knows how the thieves got out, and as far as I could find out, nobody knows. It's weird. Um, before you go in that passage, you may remember there's a Jin down here from freaking forever ago. Jinny, I should say, sorry. You want to do this. Trust me. Hit that freaking bell. Oh, does this guy say anything new? What happened to Hammett when he went to Lumpa? Nope, I think that's the only guy in this entire village that doesn't have different dialogue now. Um, yeah, you really want to hit the bell for that Ginny, otherwise you're going to have a bad, bad time. Uh, anyways, no. No. Come on, there we go. There we go, mate. Something hurt right now? Uh, Ivan has not a whole lot of synergy. Vault Cave! Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the best way to support me by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next episode, we'll take a look through the vault cave and see if all the treasures await us in here. Goodbye!